Hello to my Virgos. All right, Virgos, let's get it. The moon is in Gemini. The moon is in Gemini. You and Gemini's share Mercury. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I am talking to you wherever Virgo is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. So even my cross watchers who are coming to find out about a Virgo, please pull your birth chart. Find out where Virgo is in your birth chart because I'm speaking to that part of you, right? Including if Virgo is your MC, IC, if Virgo is your Chiron, I'm talking to you as well. Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. I've already prayed over your cards. I already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity in every area of your lives. Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's go. All right. So I just want you to hang in there with yourselves, right? Here we have the um, hangman, the justice card, seven of cups, the five of cups, the eight of cups, and also the page of cups. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we have the uh, hangman. We also have the justice card. Somebody is definitely, you know, a little indecisive about some things and, um, you know, just trying to weigh, you know, just kind of trying to weigh some things here. Trying to be patient with yourself. Here we have the seven of cups. Either you feel like, either somebody feels like you got away with something or you feel like they got away with something. But in either case, I see eventually you're going to say, here we have the five of cups. Here we have the eight of cups. It could be a fire sign. It's fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, I feel like you're going to toss it into a burning bowl and move forward. And that's going to be a deciding factor for somebody to say, okay, I'm never allowed. I'm never going through that again, that emotion again, because you're ready for some good news to happen. So somebody had to take somebody all the way down to, you know, something for you to finally say, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just done. Right. And so, um, so it's just saying, hang in there with yourselves. Uh, you are just, you're just you're going through, you know, uh, major life changes. Right. So this is the 11th and 12th card in tarot. And, and so you're just moving through, you're just learning how to hang in there with yourselves and, um, you know, surrendering your old self, you're like, uh, sacrificing that old, that old you, you know, about being indecisive about things, depending on who it is. There's two types of energies in particular that you've been indecisive about. And you're saying, no, I need to toss that into a burning boat. I'm not letting it manipulate my emotions at all. I'm not letting it stop my love life. You know, I'm not letting it stop anything. Here we have the two of wands, the three of wands, the queen of wands, the high priestess energy, the judgment card, and also the tower card. So I'm seeing justice and judgment in your favor. It's going to be really shocking, you know, um, you know, to some people, but I feel like it's also helping you to start listening to sharpening your gifts as well. It's helping you to sharpen your high priestess gifts as well, right? Um, and just uh, not just physically waiting for something to happen and being indecisive about it. Here's the tower card. There's some energies, like I said before, um, that were causing you to be disorganized in your thinking and flexible in your thinking, very stern in your thinking. And it was because you were holding other people's toxic water. So it actually, you gave off that scent, you know, carrying somebody else's toxic water. But I definitely feel like there's some energies that want to reach out to you now. They want to reach out to you, Virgos. Um, but I don't, I see you continuing to move forward. Don't go backwards. Definitely it would be a bait and switch. It would be a bait and switch. So move on. Here we have the queen of wands here. So I definitely see you sitting on your throne. Adjust your crown. Just adjust your crown. Don't go back to anything or anybody while you were going through your transition, your transformation. Right here we have the judgment card. You're going through a transformation. Do not, I don't care who it is. It could have, whatever. Don't go backwards. Don't go backwards. You're continuing to go through your transformation because that'll also be linked to some kind of traumatic event that's going on in your life too. So as you're moving through, you don't want to attach that to some kind of traumatic event to your life. So stay focused, right? Stay focused. Yeah, while you're going through something, while you're going through your tower moment, you're in a um, very vulnerable state. And sometimes people just want to feel good during that vulnerable state. They want to attach themselves to people that make them feel better while they're going through something very vulnerable state. That's not the time. Mm -mm. 
Nope, keep on going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And be grateful for, be grateful if they keep on going. For real, it's not, it's, it's God's way of protecting you from something. So a source's way of protecting you from something. You don't want to temporarily just feel good. And then when you get to the other side, then you say, oh, wow, this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> keep going. Just keep right on going. So uh, two of wands came out again. So I feel like there's two energies that source is allowing them to go on their journey and it's also allowing you to go on your journey as well the sooner i feel like you your attitude is about it is going to really determine your altitude how quickly you get to whatever it is you prayed for so get excited about it but i definitely see you cutting some ties with some energies and continuing to move forward cutting ties with some energies and moving forward right that's right. You're um, definitely moving on from lamenting. I feel like you and somebody were lamenting something. Hold on for a second. Yeah, it's it's like it's a uh, you and somebody were kind of in the same boat here. Yeah. Yes, you you and somebody were going through the same thing either y'all may have been going at going through it at different phases but nevertheless anyway source needs you to keep on moving forward just keep moving forward here we have the wheel of fortune here we have the dame of pentacles here we have the strength card and also the high priest yeah you definitely want to master your um Since you have an innate spiritual understanding of things, you definitely want to master your spirit, right? You want to master that, right? So always when it's a fork in the road, do I choose my higher self or lower self? Choosing your higher self, like making an effort to choose your higher self. I'm not choosing my flesh. I'm not so burning with passion about whatever that I got to out make a wrong decision, right? Yeah. Um... The uh, dark side of the strength card is in the inability to control passion about things. It's like, okay, I'm going through something right now. I need to latch on to some fresh water. I need to latch on to something else that's going to take my mind off of this. So it's just saying, mm -mm, don't do that to yourself. It's better for you to pull your birth chart, find out what your moon sign is, uh, and, and start nurturing yourselves. Start nurturing yourselves that way. Let's see what else we have going on. Let's see what else we got going on. Yeah, so as you're moving through whatever it is you're going through, you got good news coming through. And so you don't want to look back. and Because um, I feel like people make that, that mistake while they're going through something, okay, starting something new in friendships and romantic relationships. And you still got this thing hanging off over here. And once that's done, then are you still interested? Sometimes people are not. not they're not interested in being a friend anymore or love interest. So tower moment for two types of energies, right? Here we also have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, and then also the Queen of Wands. I feel like it's you and somebody that's going through... I'm looking at parallel universes here. Here's the Wheel of Fortune. Here's the Tower card. Tower card came out twice. We got the King of Pentacles here. So you're moving towards a very wealthy life. Yeah, you're moving towards a very wealthy life. Here we have the uh, Knight of Cups. And that's how you're going to save yourself. You're going to pull your own birth chart. You're not going to start anything new. You're going to learn how to pour back into yourself while you're going through some things and also have compassion for self and for other energies that could be going through some things. But first it's starting out with two types of energies that, are, that they played a role in you going through a tower moment An awakening is what I'm saying. They play some kind of role, somebody who, um, could have been in your life from the time you were between eight and 
years old and 14 years old or you were in their lives when between the ages of eight year eight years old four years old 14 years old all the dots are being connected though here somebody has been around a lot of energy vampires here we have the page of swords here so something today is linking you back to the ages of eight years old and 14 years old yeah queen of cups Ten of Pentacles, something having to do with family. And how you're creating your own legacy now, today. Right here, we also have the Queen of Swords here. But carefully, um, you're sitting on your throne, vetting your thoughts, thinking about teamwork. You want to be in a relationship with someone where it feels like a team. It doesn't feel like you're on opposing sides. Like it's just this arguing of manipulation of emotions and... Uh, you can't cut ties. You so wound up in something. You can't cut ties with them. Somebody really desires some kind of teamwork going on here. So fresh water is needed. I feel like now somebody's thinking more of quality of relationships versus quantity. Like just having a bunch of people around you just for the purpose of just having, you know, people around you. I feel like somebody's really thinking quant. I mean, quality of relationships now. Because if you got this many um, uh, manipulative energies around you, somebody, I'm not sure who I'm talking to. You got this many, um, it's time to do a heart chakra cleanse so you're heading harder and not at war with each other. Or even if it's, if, if it, even if it's you and it, you don't have that many friends around you, maybe God cleansed a lot of stuff. Yeah, the curse is now broken. Somebody who had a, there was a, just a family curse. Of just staying around, just having a whole bunch of people around, just a bunch of confusion. And somebody is really starting to think now, maybe going into hermit mode, right? And going through a molting process. Mercury is post shadow retrograde. I want to believe in, I want to say until May 13th. And so messages are still trickling in. You're a lot more selective. Um, about the relationships you're around, the people that you're around, and, and building those relationships. Um, so the healer and protector of travelers is with you. So prepare for an increase in pay as you're closing out cycles. Um, yeah, somebody regrets lying to you. But they have a python spirit. Spirit of, spirit of lying. It's time to heal your wounded uh, self. Your bitter ex's lover wants you, child, whatever that means. Um, much better lies ahead. And so, yes, yeah, some energies was definitely trying to box you in, you know, in terms of just like shaping your emotions. Like I said, people will, people, if they know that you are a barrel of laughs and you always bringing that good water around, you just got that good energy um, something about you is um, very attractive to energy vampires. And so some energies were definitely trying to control your emotions about things like who you date, who you see, you know, as friends, who you align yourself with, definitely trying to control that part of you. So I definitely see some changes happening here. Definitely see some changes. Let's see. Let's go ahead and close this out. Here are the questions for the moon and Gemini. For those of you all who like the questions. First question is, do you feel there's an area of your life in need of radical change? Like your work life, your relationships, your well-being, your home life. Second question is, what's getting in the way of you changing your story? Third question is, how could you inject more childlike curiosity into your life? And then last but not least, so who are the five people you could get in touch with? Who could help you on your journey? Four, so I am stable. You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock in your hard work and your perseverance. Make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. Very, very creative here. All of this is right here in the water, in the sacral chakra. Somebody is saying, okay, instead of me... Um, being around highly manipulative energies, I want to create a different kind of environment for myself where I don't feel boxed in. I don't feel controlled. Um, here we have integrity. I choose my words wisely. I am, um, my words are creating, speaking of creativity, my reality, my speech matches my actions. I keep promises to myself. I am consistent. I am punctual. I accept the moment. I resonate with the highest truth. 
your creativity and your ability to create however you want to create the life that you create for yourself and what you create is what's going to make you very wealthy. But if you run a lot of energies that's judging this and why do you want to be around that group of people and why do you want to create this kind of content is stifling your growth, your creative process. And so I do feel like somebody is going to be in spaces where... Um, you can create the life that you want to create freely without all of that people trying to control, you know, how you create. That's what I have for you. I will see you all in the next reading. Bye.